Your name is? My name is Peter White. I now live in Nottingham, New Hampshire. I live, used to live in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, where I ran for office as a Green Party candidate or an independent a few times. But the first time I ran for office, I was running for a state rep for, uh, as a Green Party candidate, and Jill Stein was running for governor as a Green Party candidate. And, but they weren't letting the alternative candidates in the governor's debate, even though there was uh, five candidates who were on the ballot, they only let the Democrat Republican in, and of course Mitt Romney was a Republican. So we you know, did an action on the debate, and we got a hundred people outside, we were chanting and trying to get you know, uh, attention to our cause, and all the, all the de governor candidates should be included in the debate. And I was there, I had a suit and tie on, because I was a, a rep candidate. I saw these people going in a side door and they were letting them in, so I kind of sauntered over there and I got in the middle of them. Then I went, I went upstairs to the debate hall and they put me right in the Republican sec section in the second row, because they were Republicans I went in with. So I'm sitting there and the lights go down, the moderator starts talking and he says, okay, Mitt Romney will be the first candidate to speak. So as Mitt came up to the microphone, I just felt I, I had to do something and I was nervous, but then I felt this calm come over me and it's like, yeah, this is the right thing to do. As Dr. King says, it's always the right time to do the right thing. So I stood up and I said, hey, wait, where's Jill Stein? Where's the other governor candidates? This is a mockery of democracy. There's five candidates for governor. There should be five candidates in this debate, not just the, you know, the two you got up there. And all of a sudden everybody stopped, the cameras turned on me and everybody stared at me and it's like, what do I do now? It's like. Where's Jill Stein and you know, she's the Green Party candidate? Where's the other candidates? This is a mockery of democracy. And I just kept saying it over and over again. And then this great big state trooper came in and kind of had to slide through the road to get to me. And he took me by the arm. He said, come with me, please. It's like, sure, officer. So I went out and I said, I just exercised my, my freedom of speech, First Amendment rights. And they took me down. They let me out the front door. They let me go. So, But as a result, as I was leaving, Mitt Romney said, wait, he's right. All the other candidates should be in here. You know, if they're on the ballot, they should be in the debates. And it's like, you know, so the next debates, they had the other candidates in. It was Mitt Romney and four women candidates. So I think he wanted them included so they would divide the women's vote. And he didn't get elected governor. But they did include the alternative candidates in the debate. So I, I guess that was a mixed results effort. No, I think that's the best thing you could have possibly done.